Given the dispersed conditions of the modern battlefield, the tracked armoured carrier has found to be an efficient combat vehicle for the armoured infantry. It is also very well suited for use as a command vehicle and for the transport in the combat zone of wounded personnel and material. The tracked armoured carrier has considerably increased the efficiency of the armoured infantry. In this film, BOFA show a new 20mm turret gun which has been designed and tried out with particular consideration to the armament of armoured combat vehicles. The standard dome is made of 15mm armour plate and has observation slits with special bulletproof prisms which enable the gunner to see all round the horizon. By means of a locking lever, the gunner can open a cover on the dome. It has two locking positions. In one position, it is swung aside to provide an exit. In the other position, it is open for anti-aircraft firing when the gunner uses a ring sight, but still has good protection. As an anti-aircraft gun, this weapon is mainly intended for use against slow-moving targets. For example, helicopters, reconnaissance aircraft, observation and spotting aircraft, gliders, and so on. The exit cover is normally kept closed. One of the most important properties of this design is that it is gas-proof. A periscope sight is used for firing against ground targets. It is provided with a graticule with tangent elevation and lateral deflection graduations and has illumination for night use. For aiming, the gunner has a traversing crank with which the entire dome is traversed. And an elevation crank for setting the elevation of the weapon. The traversing device has two gear ratios. For fine aiming, the handle of the traversing crank is set in its lower position. For coarse aiming, the gunner first pushes it up and can swing the gun onto the target using the higher gear ratio. The field of traverse is unlimited. And the elevation limits are from plus 48 degrees to minus 15. The firing gear is electromechanical. The trigger is placed in the elevation crank. By means of a lever on the right hand side of the dome, the gunner can select single round fire or automatic fire. The same lever is used for setting the gun to safety. The gun is simple and of a sturdy design. It has also been subjected to extensive tests as fighter aircraft armament. When used for this purpose, it has a suitable rate of fire, approximately 12 rounds per second. The vital parts of the gun are protected by a box made of 10 mm armour plate. While the belt guide, which is inside the weapon mount, is protected by armour, which has a thickness of 15 mm in the standard design. In the lower part of the belt guide, inside the dome, there is a blocking device, which automatically stops the firing when the magazine is empty. When loading the gun, the entire magazine is exchanged. The standard magazine holds 80 rounds. The new belt is connected to the one which is still in the belt guide and an extra cartridge is fastened in the connecting link. There are two kinds of projectile. 122 gram high explosive shell with high sensitive instantaneous direct action fuse 
it has a 15 gram bursting charge. The muzzle velocity is 850 meters per second. The armor piercing projectile weighs 136 grams and has a muzzle velocity of 845 meters per second. It is provided with a tracer. It has good armor penetrating properties and will pierce 15 millimeter armor plate at an angle of 30 degrees from the normal at 800 meters. This is the normal dispersion picture for a 10 round series. That is, 50% of the rounds are within a circle with a radius of 0.6 meters. For carrying out the primary assignments for which this weapon is intended, Practical tests have shown that the following results should be expected. Hit on light armored vehicle. Range 1200 meters. Time 6 seconds. Number of rounds 3. 50% effect against machine guns and close range anti tank weapons. Range 800 meters. Time 10 seconds. Number of rounds, five. Hit on helicopter. Range, 1,000 meters. Time, eight seconds. Number of rounds, 20. With the 15 millimeter armor, the dome weighs a total of 700 kilograms. It has originally been designed for armored vehicles but is also very well suited for use on small patrol vessels in coastal waters and also a secondary armament on tanks and on armored cars. Regardless of where it is installed, it represents a good solution of a current armament problem. It will withstand rough handling and sustain firing. It is served by one man. It is gas tight. All round visibility. The powder gases go directly out into the open air. Reconnaissance with binoculars can be carried out under the armored dome. It can be used for anti-aircraft firing. Both the weapon and the gunner are well protected against small arms fire and splinters. It has thus been designed with due consideration to all the requirements demanded by the tacticians and weapon technicians of today and with consideration to the combat methods of tomorrow. Another BOFUS product for efficient defense.